Hi everyone, this is Anna Finch from Finch Press Publishing. Hope everyone's had a good day. Now today's review is on Incus Con 2019, which is a which was a conference that ran last year. They're also running one this year, which has already started. Now this year they made the 2019 conference available for a year. Um, which they've now also extended that so it's available until May next year. Um, so you can watch about nearly 30 videos um, covering things like marketing, advertising for your novel, um, improving your craft, um, running your business, like um, how to set up a business or coming up with a business plan if, as an author, things like that. Um, and they made that available. Now this you can still access the 2019 conference through the IncasCon website. Um, so, on to the review. Now, um, IncasCon covers they have bonus content as well as the standard areas. So they have videos in about marketing your business, about advertising, about um, actually setting up a business, writing, okay. Now, the marketing videos covers things like what will make or break your book launch, um, secrets of a successful backlist, widening your sales, Kindle unlimited marketing strategies, nailing your next launch, which includes like a step-by-step -step workshop, um, everything you need to know about Goodreads, um, newsletter success um, in advert things like for advertising um, hold on, let me go back to that. like for advertising you've got um, things like AMS ads um, you've got uh, like why isn't your face why aren't your Facebook ads working key to Amazon sales advanced AMS AMS ads, um, advanced ad strategies for authors, secrets of digital marketing, which includes things like geofencing, which is actually very interesting. Um, things like uh, business productivity, so creating your business plan, law for authors, so things like copyright, defamation, things like that. Um, double your pub rate, so your publishing rate and money. Um, bare bones authoring. Um, audiobook intro and marketing, um, how to improve your story, characters, outlining, things like that. So it covers a whole range of things. Now, I didn't watch every single video um, in this simply because there were some videos that didn't interest me um, or I started watching it and I lost interest. That is not to say the content was bad. It was more that it didn't apply to me or it didn't interest me because it d doesn't fit my situation. However, the overwhelming, I found the overwhelming majority of the videos, and I watched nearly every single one, um, to be interesting. The content was interesting. The way it was presented was engaging. Um, there were strategies on how to improve my writing um, effectively, strategies on how to market my business, how to advertise, how to actually plan my business. Now, I'm a teacher. Now, I teach, well, this year I'm teaching humanities, which includes um, business. It includes civics, which is like law, um, politics. It covers history. It covers geography. So it's a whole, it covers a whole range of subjects. And, um, and because I'm actually going to be teaching business and teaching kids um, how to set up their own business, how to plan their business. I found, and especially considering I had to plan a VCE unit for business, um, for those of you who don't know, VCE is basically the senior year, um, so year 11, I plan the year 11 um, unit for business management. Um, and the resources in particularly the business and marketing and I, even some of the advertising videos, the information in that actually applied a lot 
for my classes. So it has information that I can use for my teaching my subject, like for the business plan, how to create a business plan. Now this is focused on authors, but I can take that particular worksheet that's attached for business plans. I can take the particular ideas and information that was that was presented through the the video in this conference and actually use it in my classes and I think the students will actually en engage with it. Um, the business one, the business areas on well it's like particularly how to set up a business plan and um, and like the law like to do with particular things like copyright like uh, there are students who don't understand copyright um, and especially when you're trying to get kids to write in their own words and not copy and paste whatever they find on the internet which is tough especially for the young kids um, things like things like marketing um, so how to actually market um, to a particular audience, um, so strategies you can use that and things like widening your sales or um, improving like the the income you make and all that. That is that information is actually very interesting, but it's also very the content is actually fairly connected to what I'm actually teaching, and I can actually use this in my teaching. The writing videos um, about craft and how to improve your story and how to edit and all that sort of stuff. Again, I also um, I'm a qualified English teacher as well, and I taught English last year. And some of the things like outlining for pants, that particular video, um, I went, oh, I could have explained to that kid how that uh, to that kid that he can do his write his story this way because he he writes he does he doesn't plan out every detail and unfortunately with the way the assessment was sent out he had to plan everything and didn't fit with his creative writing style and it gave me some strategy it gave strategies on how to do that and I can actually use that in my classes so I found particularly this conference these videos for 2019 conference videos to be really helpful not just as a writer and someone who intends to publish their book this year but um, as a teacher as well um, as a teacher for English and for humanities that this information can help me um, when I'm planning my lessons for business and I'm actually teaching a business unit to year sevens and year eights so I'm actually planning I'm actually going to be teaching um, and they're going to be setting up their own business in year eight just like a mini business for them to run and a market day and things like that so I, I can use this in my classroom so um, the information in all those videos for the conference interesting engaging the content is relevant to both the both to authors and publishers um, but it's also relevant to teachers of English and humanities it's easily understood so the language used isn't too complex it's fairly easy to follow along um, even people who don't have complex language skills in English can or if they if they're English if they um, comprehension of spoken English is like lo primary or low secondary level they can still follow along so even though the content is geared even though the content is geared towards adults um, and adult writers um, teens can actually can actually um, watch these videos follow along and be able to apply those strategies if they want to be an author um, or if they want to set up their own business. So they can actually apply it. Um, cost. Now, I live in Australia. Now, the difference between the Australian dollar is significant. Um, 
it has gotten as low as for every 50 US cents we or for every so like for example it would be $1.50 Australian would be like 50 US cents um, or for like our dollar was worth half that of the US so the cost of this was a lot more um, than what I would normally pay. Now, the 2019 conference, when I bought it, I think it was 180 US um, for access to the 28 or 38, 30 videos um, for a year. 180 US when I bought that was about 210, 220 Australian. Not too big of a difference. Um, the but again, you're paying about two hundred plus dollars for a conference that is completely online. Um, you can find similar videos that are a bit more basic in the content um, or simpler on YouTube, um, but you would have to go searching for it yourself. That's the main thing. If you you can find similar content. Um, on YouTube for free. Um, but was it worth it? Yes, um, it was worth it. It saved me time from having to find the information. Uh, um, the price, it actually was cheaper than the um, conference that was go that I was going to attend in Queensland. Um, in July, which is which was originally held in a particular conference center, um, and I was going to attend with my brother, and that was like a lot. The cost physically going there, it did include food though. Um, the cost was a lot higher than what this was. Um, so, considering other conferences available available that are online or held in a conference center in Australia the price is actually reasonable um, if this was a uh, conf if this was held physically in a place and it was last year and originally it was meant to be held in Texas this year as well then the it would have been split over two days so the amount of amount of the amount of resources, the amount of content, um, the um, the ac the availability, the fact you can access it over the course of a year, so you don't have to consume or do every watch everything within a three day period like the other um, free online writing conference. Um, you have access to it over a year. So if you want to do or watch one of those videos a week, you can. If you want to watch one every couple of days, you can. If you want to like watch all those videos in a day or two days, you can. You can you can organize and consume and actually you watch those videos and attend the conference at your own leisure over the course of a year, which is a massive plus and it makes it good value for money, um, especially when compared to other conferences here in Australia, which are double or in some cases triple the price for the exact same content. Um, and the conference I was going to attend in Queensland this year, which has been moved fully online, is still more expensive um, than the 2019 or this year's Incascon conference, which is a United States based conference and in US dollars. So it's still more expensive to attend the conference here in Australia. A couple of downsides besides cost, which is kind it can be a downside and a positive because it is pretty affordable. Um, 
it's affordable because you can do it in payment plans. You can pay in chunks rather than pay it all at once. Um, a downside is this is a US based conference. I live in Australia. So some of these videos don't apply to me. The one of the conference videos um, was about audio intro to audiobooks and marketing audiobooks. Now a bit of that information was okay, it was relevant to me, but they talked about ACX or the Amazon's um, the Amazon company for audiobook um, producing and like distributing. ACX is not available in Australia. If you live in Australia or even in the UK, I think, you cannot be a part of ACX, which is the Amazon Audiobook Program. You cannot record with them, you cannot publish with them, you cannot distribute with them unless you are doing it through a third party that operates in the US. It's not available. The only method of getting into the audiobook market as a self-publisher as an Australian self-publisher is through Find Away Voices because that doesn't limit you if you live outside the US. That's the only way you can do audiobook marketing. So content, interesting and informative, but particularly in that one, it's specific for it's because it's based in the US, it's talking about things available in the US. And ACX isn't available in Australia. The um, law for writers um, it covers things like defamation, copyright, uh, invasion of privacy. So these are things that also like apply in Australia, but the law of Australia and the US is completely different. The law in the UK, in South Africa or France or whatever country you come from is different to what is based in what the US system is. Um, Australia's legal system is more like the UK's. But our laws are still different from the UK's, it's still different from the US. So the way copyright applies in Australia is different to the US. The laws available for copyright in Australia are different to the US. Um, for us, you register copyright for free through the National Library of Australia. Um, and you basically get a sticker that says your, your copy of your book's recorded. Um, what else? Things like AMS ads. Amazon, like publishing through Amazon is a bit tricky if you live in Australia um, because our system when it comes to tax is different. Um, our system when it comes to being able to like our legal system is different, our tax system is different. Um, in Australia, you just need a tax file number um, and you need an ABN in order to be an author, which is a business number. You don't need to register for GST or anything like that, but um, the language used in the Amazon site is a bit difficult. So from what I can see, it's you have to like fill in a whole bunch of US tax forms even if you live in Australia or the UK in order to get an account with Amazon for um, like publishing books um, and then running ads through the books um, things like Kindle Unlimited again um, it's the way Australia's the av availability as an author and a published self-publisher is different different in Australia. Uh, Goodreads, the, inf the inf information session about Goodreads. Giveaways on Goodreads, again, it's limited to the US. Um, if you run a giveaway, if you live in Australia and you're running a giveaway which is only available in the US, so only people from the US can enter the giveaway, Sending one copy, one physical copy of a book to the US. So you, you say the book, printing the book costs five bucks. You print the book, 
and say you print, oh, maybe about six bucks here in Australia, six bucks for printing the book here. And if you have to print it here, ship it to the US, that could go, that shipping, depending on the style of shipping or the type of shipping you do, you could go, you could take a six dollar book, or a book that print costs, print six dollars, and it could cost 30, even 40 dollars to ship it. So the cost of doing it is outrageous. Uh, so Goodreads, again, limited to the US and I think Canada. Um, I don't know if they did a session, they didn't do a session on Apple. I think the one this year is going to do one on Apple. Um, so there's a lot of interesting information on there, but you need to be aware the conference is a US based conference. So every, every single bit of content that is produced by Inkerscon is written for a US audience, even if the people watching in the audience are from other nations or if they're from Europe or Africa or South America, if they're from an English or non-English speaking country, the information produced is mainly for a US audience or for people who are publishing in the US. The way you publish in Australia, the way you publish in the UK is different to the US. Our systems are completely different and you need to keep that in mind when you attend conferences outside of your own country, whether it's physically attend or whether it's online. You need to be aware of that. Um, and you need to be aware of the differences because you may go and try to say you've got an audiobook narrated in Australia and you go ahead, you go to the ACX website and you try to because you heard about ACX and how wonderful it is and you try to get it published and you can't and you've wasted quite a bit of money um, narrating your audiobook and you can't publish it through ACX so then you have to spend a whole bunch more time researching and find out where and how you can publish when you're in Australia. Um, now despite these downsides due to the um, despite these downsides I do recommend um, attending the Incas Con, whether it's the 2019 um, or this year's one, which is running. Um, this year's one actually is doing like roundtable discussions, and you can like book a spot and talk with um, other authors and like minded authors and things about things like um, urban fantasy or writing a mystery or clean romance, um, writing. Um, romance from diverse backgrounds and a whole range of things. So they're doing roundtable discussions um, as part of the 2020 conference because all the conference, the entire conference is online and it is available now, um, which is fantastic. Um, so I do recommend either attending last year's or watching the videos from last year which you can get from the incascon.com Incascon website. Um, you can access the 2019 version. I think it's still available um, if you're a bit tight on money because it is cheaper than this year's. This year's conference, because it has already started, it is $245 US dollars. Um, you do get access for a full year. Now, keep in mind it's in US dollars, so if you live in Australia, that $245 could be $280, or depending on the dollar, could be even $300. So it's a bit pricey. You can do price, you can do it um, in part payments, so pay one part each time um, if you want to. So I do recommend attending the conference because it is interesting and informative regardless of those few nitpicky downsides. Alright, see you next time.